This is a small greenhouse from Harbor Freight. We added this one this spring because, you know, we have a big garden and we want to just start our own stuff from seeds and uh, start stuff for the flower beds from seeds to save some money and just be able to plant more stuff. But we quickly realized that even with this one and the small greenhouse that was here when we moved in, uh, it still wasn't enough to keep up with everything going on thanks to the coronavirus and the lack of just supplies in the grocery stores and all that mess. So we decided we would add a third really small greenhouse just to help out because we had some drops in temperatures here and there and we've had a lot of rain and we wanted to get these seeds started so everything was ready to plant in time. So what we built was this little guy here. This is five foot by five foot square and five foot high sides on it, not counting the peak. So it was pretty simple to build. Uh, we just used one inch PVC pipe. The majority of the stuff we got from our local hardware store. We got 10 foot lengths of PVC pipe, the one inch like we just mentioned. And we got the 45s, the um, T's, elbows, and just the common fittings. And the, the painter's plastic that we put over the greenhouse, um, all that came from the local hardware store. So it was relatively easy to come by all the parts that we needed to do this and all the supplies. And we're going to show you here, there were some kind of oddball PVC fittings that we had to order from a website, but they took like, uh, I think two or three days to get here. So it was all pretty quick. And because we made it five foot by five foot, uh, it was really easy to just do the math and figure everything out. Uh, for anybody out there wondering uh, if you could pull this off on your own, it's pretty simple if you sit down and just draw it out. These four-way connectors, like the one you see here, we use them at the top corners of our walls, and we have a two-inch piece of one-inch pipe inside of it, and then a 45 on top of that, and that's where the pipe angles up to the peak of the roof. And these three-way connectors, we use them on the bottom of the frame for our corners, and we had a special order them from the same website. We also got some clamp pieces that you just clip around the pipe. After you put the plastic on, you clip them on and it holds the plastic in place, keeps it from blowing and falling off. Now this is looking up at the ceiling and you can see here, like I was saying, we have our uh, four-way connectors there and we have the 45s on top of them that angle the pipe up to make the peak. Uh, Cause we were doing, you know, five foot by five foot. It's pretty simple. We just had to cut, cut the, um, pieces going up to make the peak at about three and a half feet. So it was all nice, even round measurements. And that made the job easy for anybody that doesn't really know how to read a tape measure. <laughs> and the pipe that we used for our peak, we actually cut it and we put uh, a T on either side of those center supports for the, the peak of the roof there. And the reason why we did that is so that later on, if we want, we can make a U shaped piece to glue up into both of those T's there. So that way we could hang our hanging baskets or um, something like that on there just to give us a little bit more room. And then you can see here we put this um, elbow piece in here so we can hang our light off of that. You know, that's one nice thing about using this PVC pipe. If you want to modify it, all you got to do is get out the pipe cutter and just cut it and throw a T in there or a Y or whatever you want to put in there to add on to it or change it and keep expanding this greenhouse and what you can do with it. Now, believe it or not, these crosses, we actually found them at a local Ace Hardware store in the plumbing section. So we didn't have to special order them. The tees, the elbows, the pipe, um, the 45s, as we said, we got all them at the local hardware store. And we also got this plastic right here that we use to cover the greenhouse. Now, they also did have this in six mil, which was more expensive and you know, we're just going to see how this holds up before we go putting more money into it for the heavier plastic or anything like that. And for now, we'll probably just cut another piece of plastic out of the big roll that we got and just let it hang down for a door. And then eventually, if we decide we're going to keep using this, we'll build an actual door for on there, you know, PVC pipe frame and, and hinge it so it mounts right on there. But the cool thing about this is in the wintertime, if we want, we can just pull this thing back apart and put it back together the next spring like a kit. And that way it's not out in the uh, harsh winter weather or anything like that, or 
if we did want to leave it standing, um, you know, it'd be a matter of taking the plastic off of it and just wrapping new plastic around it in the spring. So either way, it's um, it's a nice little greenhouse to to build if you're looking to do this. Uh, all this pipe, we cut that with just a manual squeeze style PVC pipe cutter. You know, it was one inch. It was no problem to cut with one of those. So no power tools needed. Um, again, if you can read a tape measure and you have a little bit of imagination, this is very easy to do and doesn't really cost all that much if you pick all the stuff up that you can at your local hardware store. So that's going to do it for our little look here at our greenhouse we built out of some PVC pipe and a roll of plastic that we picked up at our local hardware store and a few fittings that we had to order from a website. Uh, hopefully this inspires you guys if you were thinking about building something your own or looking for something you could build that wasn't going to take up a lot of space or a lot of time and didn't require a lot of materials. Uh, this is the way to go here, you know. Um, as we said, we found the majority of this stuff at our local hardware store. The other things we ordered online came really quick. And you could slap one of these together in, in an evening if you have it all planned out. Please feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section here on this video. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.